It's Carol Schiffer with Coldwell Banker in Brentwood, and I want to talk to you, to you today about the appraisal process of a loan. When people are buying a property for all cash, generally they don't have an appraisal. But if you are going to get a loan, the banks will require you to have an appraisal, sometimes two and sometimes even three. So using a local lender that again, my lender that I use um, uses appraisers that know the area, know their business, and it's so, so, so important because a bad appraisal can kill a transaction. And I've seen it happen a lot of times. They'll bring in an appraiser for a property in Brentwood from a guy that, that lives in Orange County. He doesn't know our market. And so he's he doesn't have the benefit of a lot of appraisers that I know that are, I work with here who've gone to see these properties themselves because every property is different. So if they're just doing what we call a drive-by appraisal or going through the public records or the multiple listing and they don't know the ins and outs of a particular property or why one is sold a little bit less because it's not in the description, then they're going to come in with a low appraisal and it's very painful and it makes the buyers uncomfortable with what they bought because then they think that they've overpaid and it's my job as an agent whether I'm representing you as the buyer or the seller to make sure that the appraisers have the right information and explain to them why a price is what it is or is not. Uh, so you going back to other uh, videos that I've had where I talk about picking a good lender and a good agent. You want an experienced agent who knows the hood. So let's talk about what happens if you get a bad appraiser. What are your choices? You can, as a buyer, go away. You can renegotiate the purchase price or put more money in the transaction, more money down to, to uh, make up the difference. But we also have the ability to appeal this appraisal and go back to that appraiser and say, look, what did you use as your information? And lately I've heard some really interesting horror stories where the appraiser is using information that is from a different area. And maybe that different area is two blocks away or they have something like that. And again, not necessarily using their brain or not from being in the area. That's, that's one appraisal I'm thinking of came in $30,000 less. And fortunately, the agent looked at the appraisal, looked at the information that was in there and was able to make the correction and the transaction just closed. So you want to be very careful if you do have an appraisal. And in today's competitive market, even uh, loans, the buyer has the opportunity to waive the appraisal. It doesn't have, mean anything to the bank, um, but they they can. That means that the buyer is willing to take whatever that appraisal is, and um, so that that's not a contingency. Basically, the appraisal is still going to be done, but it's not a contingency. And the most critical part of the loan process is the underwriting. Department. They're, the, they're the ones that are going to, at the end of the day, say, yes, we're going to give you the loan or not give you the loan. So they're going to look at that appraisal. So call me. I'd be more than happy to help you with this. And let's get that house.